morning guys welcome back to another video here on Boreal Bushcraft Canada uh, we're, in the, we're ending the month of October and uh, I'm telling you it's very very cold must have gone down to minus five yesterday <coughs> and uh, I tried out that stove that I bought the other day the TMS stove in, uh, in the pyramid tent it worked, it worked quite all right for a while, although uh, at around 2 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning, the fire was just getting smothered because I didn't have a grill inside to keep the wood elevated from the bottom. Therefore, like from all the ashes and everything, it was just getting smothered and it went out and we woke up to a very, very cold sleeping bag. Trust me, it was cold, buddy. Uh, anyway... We're going to spend a couple of days up here. I'm going to do a little bit of small game hunting. Uh, we're going to put up the 10 by 10 uh, tarp. So, stay with me, guys. It's going to be a beautiful two days. And uh, I, want you to, I want you guys to come along for the ride. No gourmet cooking this time. Maybe some mountain house beef stew. We'll see. Sun's coming up over the over that saddle over there. Beautiful day, I tell you. Beautiful day. Well, this is our setup guys I put up my teepee tent and I have my uh, little wood-burning stove that I purchased the other day in here let me get closer so you guys can take a look and uh, I'm sleeping on my cot I got my thermo rest my Pendleton and my sleeping bag and uh, my buddy is sleeping going this way he has his feet under my cot his head is down there, and he's sleeping. Uh, he's sleeping on the ground, but he's got. Uh, we have a uh, one of the BBC tarps, and then we have the thermo rest, and he's got his uh, his heavy duty uh, sleeping bag. And uh, he was he was okay last night. This is the stove. Just keeping a little bit of wood on top so it can get a little dry because I couldn't get uh, and find any. Uh, dry wood last night when we came because we came a little bit uh, later on and uh, worked okay although to be honest with you it's a lot of work got to find wood cut it quarter it you know anyway and this gizmo here uh, another one of our buddies is spending the night there and he has, uh, he picked himself up a, uh, one of those uh, Mr. Heaters. And apparently it works pretty well. Although, he has to change the, uh, he's got to change the, uh, the propane tank every, uh, every three hours approximately. Because apparently there's no control on that. You can't control uh, how much heat goes in and out this is the 10 by 10 tarp the way I configured it I did a semi lean to like I said before I put up two sticks in the front to secure each corner like here too and uh, my cot's gonna be going uh, this way and the long fire is gonna be uh, just about well, you see the pile of wood there, more or more or less, around 20, about two feet, two feet from my uh, from my cot. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring this wall in a bit, you know, lower the ceiling. The way I did this, I uh, I secured. Uh, let me get on this side so you can see it. I secured uh, 
the ridge line through the center loops. You see them going right across over here like that, attached it to the tree. Made it nice and tight. And then what I did, I took two pieces of paracord and secured each center, center of the flap, so it can give me a nice uh, taut, you know, finish here. And uh, secured each corner in front here with uh, with these uh, five foot sticks here. Come to a V on the top here, you know. So I can slip my uh, I can slip that loop right through it. And uh, that's it, guys. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get some firewood and, you know, practice my uh, flint and steel skills and sharpen some knives and try to work with my Chris Kane. I've had it for a few years and I've never really used it. So today I think I'm going to start using my Chris Kane. Speak to you guys a little later. Okay, so carrying on with our uh, Mountain House uh, dinners, uh, actually a Mountain House reviews, like I said that uh, every time I go out in the field, I'll be trying a new uh, Mountain House freeze-dried dinner. And uh, tonight what we're going to be having is the freeze-dried beef stew. Okay. Uh, there's 13 grams of protein. Net weight is 4.3 4.3 ounces or 122 grams, and uh, it's supposed to uh, serve two and a half two and a half servings, two entrees serve two and a half entree servings. Uh, ingredients, well, first ingredient potatoes. You know what that means, right, guys? Your first ingredient is always the ingredient is going to be most of in that package. Well, here in Canada, anyway. So, you get a lot of potatoes, and cooked beef, beef salt, carrots, green peas, peas and salt again, corn oil with spice extra, extract. And, uh, like I said before, there's uh, less than 2% of modified cornstarch, hydrolyzed vegetable protein, corn, yeast, wheat, gluten, soya protein, soya bean oil, dehydrated onion, sugar, spice, garlic and powder. Uh, garlic powder, sorry. I have the water boiling. Once the water boils, I'm gonna mix this baby up and uh, have it for dinner and let you guys know what I think. Stay with me. So I thought I'd show you what the contents of this package what do they look like? And actually, I'm impressed. They're all cut and diced to about the same uh, same size. And they're all about the same size. Of, they're about the size of a pea. Whether it be the carrots, the onions, potatoes, the beef. And it looks... Uh, 
It looks pretty good. We'll see how she tastes. Yeah, so my water is boiled. You're probably asking yourself, doesn't he measure? No, I don't. I just do everything by eye. That looks to be okay. Just give it a little whirl. Smells pretty good. Give it a little whirl. There we go. Seal up the bag. Wait 15 minutes. And we're going to dig in. I don't think it's going to be as good as the bean soup we had for lunch. And breakfast, by the way. Uh, I made a big batch of that Greek bean soup. And uh, I'm telling you, it just hit the spot. But some of these things are good, like these mountain houses. I think I just bumped up on one, like the chicken teriyaki. It was really yucky, you know, like the rest of the stuff that I had, very decent, I must say. So let's wait. It's 5.30. Let's wait. I'm going to try this baby out and see what she tastes like. Oh, the funniest thing happened. I opened it up because I forgot to take out that little uh, satchel that they throw inside to uh, prevent it from, uh, I don't know, from mildew or whatever, that little envelope that they put in there. And uh, I like to add a little bit of jalapeno flakes in here. And as I was opening it, I spilled half of it. A little jalapeno flakes in here just to boost it up a bit. Boys are coming back from hunting, and I'm trying the uh, mountain house. Let's see what this thing tastes like. Huh. Tastes like canned ragu au boeuf. Okay, but actually it's pretty good. Too bad I spilled half of it. Well guys, Mountain House Beef Stew. Good stuff. Oh, sorry about the lighting, guys, but uh, we're inside the tent, and uh, our friend, uh, oh, there he is. Yeah, he's still alive. <laughs> uh, this little stove, I don't know, man, it's a pain in the ass. you got to keep stoking it. You can't put big pieces inside. And, uh, yeah, it is keeping the tent warm, but... It's a real pain in the ass. You get smoked up in here, and I'm not so sure I did the right thing. Yeah, my age, I need simplicity and ease of operation. So I have a funny feeling that when we get back into the city, I'm gonna go pick up a, a Mr. Heater. The one there with the uh, thermostat control and uh, maybe single or double uh, double propane bottle uh, receiver there. Uh, anyway, guys, got to get some shut eye, so I'll speak to you guys tomorrow. Good night. Well, good morning, folks. Ah. 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 Just got up and uh, 
Telling you, you can see it's a little smoky in here. We had the wood stove going all night. And uh, honestly, I don't know. If, I don't know. It doesn't look like it's going to be a part of my kit because uh, you have to keep getting up at night, stoking it. And the other thing that I found is that, uh, let me give you, see, it's, it's, it's still red inside, but it's not giving off any heat. And uh, you got to get up, like I said, every every hour. And I think that that stove is a little too big for the size of a tent. And what happens is this lack of oxygen in here just doesn't give it a good burn. I don't know, I could be wrong, but uh, I know what I'm going to do. 